It's like, I gotta fight for this. I believe in this. My happy is to get up every day and look life in the face and go, please, what you got, baby? Come on. <laughs> I always tell people, look, there's no losing, only learning. There's no failure, only opportunities. And there's no problems, only solutions. It all depends on how you want to switch. You're gonna sit up there with somebody that looks at you and says, I don't think that's a hit there, bitch. <laughs> Music talks for everybody and it's a universal language. We created a new name, it's called Total Market. We all bleed the same blood, breathe the same air, and put our pants on one leg at a time. How I feel about the Latin community, uh, I don't ever leverage it, you know, I am it. We went back to one of my old neighborhoods, Little Havana in Miami, and we opened a school called Slam. It means the world to me because you see these kids and you see you. This isn't a gimmick, this isn't propaganda. I'm up here because it works. I live it every day of my life. And that, folks, is how you take a negative and turn it into a positive. <laughs> it was all a dream. Now I just wake up and live it, thinking that the sky was the limit until I figured out there's footprints on the moon. Now I'm like, get out the way, bitch, move. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the one and only Mr. 305, Mr. Worldwide, Pitbull, Armando Christian Perez. Yeah. My friend, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank God for that, my friend. I know you're right in the middle of the Latin Grammys. Thank you for taking a break from that. Uh, what a year. What an amazing situation we're all living through. And... Um, I want to just start off by asking you a question. We have this huge global challenge going on. And a lot of people looking to have a breakthrough in their life. A lot of people looking to try and figure out a, how to turn the negative into positive, uh, trying to reframe their circumstance and make it better. How did you turn your life from negative to positive? And what advice would you have for somebody who's looking to do the same thing? You know, when I always speak about negative to positive is that when I grew up in Miami, it wasn't a pandemic that we were in, but it was an epidemic that we were in. So it was uh, cocaine, crack, heroin, AIDS, and everything was happening at the same time in the neighborhood. So being able to survive that, learn from that, and take all those negatives and then uh, turn them into a positive, Okay, so like in times like this, what does it do? It's just survival of the fittest. It's all about how your mind and how you pivot. It's all about how you're going to reinvent yourself. How are you going to re-challenge yourself? How are you going to take the risks that are going to come up now? But I've been saying that 2020 is clear vision. So this is for everybody out there to really see what's going on. Because this isn't the first and it won't be the last. So what you got to be, I think, for everybody out there, the best advice I can give them is prepare for situations like this. Uh -huh. Not everybody has the luxury of being able to do that, but even at the lowest economical form, be able to have something in the gas tank ready for certain times like this that allow you to, how can I say, read what the next opportunity is going to be. Because if you're too busy worrying about, how can I, I'm looking for the right words, because I know what it f feels like to not know stability, security, or protection, or where the next meal's coming from, or if there's gonna be a home to show up to, or lights on, or water on. So I don't wanna overstep when it comes to that, because I do relate. But if it wasn't for those times, then we wouldn't be able to pivot the way we are right now in these times, which is, for me, the most important thing was to help those that needed the most off rip. How do we get involved to help and the people that needed the most being uh, small businesses around the country, because those are the ones that have the highest impact when it comes to our economy, especially in, in the urban community and especially in the Latin community. So that was one of the first things that we said, oh, how are we going to do this? The other thing to being involved in schools, we found a way, how are we going to pivot to educate these kids that we took on the responsibility of making sure that we're the ones that are helping them pave the way for their future. And number three was giving them what I know how to do best, which is music to inspire them, motivate them, which is the true universal language, which is what unites, doesn't divide. And we're literally living in times right now of, of divide and conquer. 
And people fear what they don't understand and hate what they can't conquer. And people hate what they don't understand and fear what they can't conquer. So well, let me, the, can, can I ask you a question? There, well, let me, let me just ask you a quick question. Yeah, real follow. quick. Eric. Yeah, at some point, at some point, there was a, some sort of a defining moment that when you, when you changed everything, what was the moment that caused you to change your life? The moment that caused me to change my life was just, to, I would say when I was about five, six years old. You know, I got tired of moving around so much. I got tired of the instability, the security, the insecurity and, and having no protection. So at that age, it wasn't for me about money. My mother always told me money's a passport, allows you to come and go, but it doesn't make you. It was about, for people that I love in my life, I wanted to create another world for them. And at a young age, all I thought was security, stability, protection. How do I get my hands on that? Now, clearly money is, is a part of that, but you make money, money don't make you. And in these times is, I mean, you see the guys with the most money in the world that are the ones helping the least, if you ask me. And me, somebody that I'm, I sell a product, which is music. Music sells everything but itself. And my, my music gets stolen all the time. I got 20 billion views on YouTube. If I had a dollar for each view, I'd have $20 billion. So I literally do this because I love to do it. And with the record that we put out, we said, hey, here's 100% of the proceeds to help whatever we can possibly help with, you know, in, in real organizations and charities that we know that are transparent and the money's going to get to the people that need it the most, right? But I mean, you have these multi, 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 multi billionaires that are just in these times bragging about how their companies are worth trillions of dollars at this point. And I don't see them showing up like that. So it just goes to show you, it doesn't matter how much money you have to have a good heart, to be humble enough to understand what people that don't have anything are going through in these times. And the reason that I understand is because I've been there before. So the people out there, bottom line, hey, when the tough, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. This is survival of the fittest. This is when you really figure out who you are and how you're built. And as humans, we are resilient and we'll fight us. And, and this is the time where we should take this situation around the world and unite and come together. That to me is the most powerful thing that we could possibly do right now. And they're finding ways to try to divide and conquer. They really are. But let me tell you something. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of, of music because music is something that speaks to everybody. And I'll say it again, music unites, it doesn't divide. And that's what we let need me ask, to Let me ask you one, uh, well, I, I also know that you, uh, you just started a podcast, Turn Your Life From Negative to Positive. Yes. And people can go find that podcast from negative to podcast, uh, <laughs> negative to positive. <laughs> and that's, uh, uh, I, I, I guess it's branded with Pitbull or is it your name, Armando Christopher yes, Perez? Or? No, it's Pitbull uh, negative to positive. All right, yeah. Pitbull negative, to, negative positive. to positive. Everybody, everybody go there, subscribe to that, download that. Uh, I know that's going to be amazing. Also, well, I mean, it's, I been, it's add, been great. Go ahead, go ahead. We have a little lag here. No, it's, it's been great. And it, exa exactly what I'm telling folks out there, you know, that was something that when God closes the door, he opens a window. And we pivoted, we said, oh, look, man, if there's, we're having speaking engagements around the world with, with yourself and, and with Tony, with uh, other folks. And I love to speak to people to let them know that, hey, man, there's no secret sauce, there's no magic formula. It's all hard work. The harder I work, the luck I get. But what you gotta be able to do is the biggest risk you take is not taking one. So the podcast is all about that. I've already had Little John on there, Luther Campbell, Flo Rider, uh, we have, Fat Joe coming up, Emilio Stefan. So it's going to be from entrepreneurs, artists, philanthropists, comedians. Everybody is going to be on the podcast, but I, it's, it's going to be the same message. How did you take your negative and make it into a positive? And everybody will tell you, hard work, bottom line, pays off. Well, I, last question for you. I, I want I, one of my favorite moments at GoPro is when you were on stage and the translation for Spanish was not working and people in the back were whistling and we can't hear, we can't understand. And they were all like, you know, kind of uh, not happy. And you just said, hold on. And you just ripped it in Spanish and they all went bananas. So I would yeah. like you to, to, to answer one question in English, but then also in Spanish 
for, for the, the whole Spanish speaking community worldwide, and it's a huge one watching this, I'd, like, I'd love for you to give them one piece of advice if they're an entrepreneur to make this next year the best year of their life. Give it to them in English and then also give it to them in Spanish to close it up. One or two entrepreneurs all around the world. This is the perfect time to test itself because what is entrepreneurship all about? It's about failing, it's about losing, it's about falling, it's about slipping, but it's about getting back up, learning, living, giving, teaching others. That's what entrepreneurship is all about. Entrepreneurship is about being an underdog. Entrepreneurship is about people telling you, no, it won't work, you're crazy, stupid, impossible. The more you hear that, the more it should feed your soul, the more it should feed your spirit, the more it should feed your fight. So to every entrepreneur out there, 2020 is clear vision. Now you can see the whole play. So now come 2021, make it prime time. Make it count. Not only for yourself. Now I'm, I'm a big believer in not selfish, but self first. Always put yourself first. What I mean by that is believe in yourself, love yourself, help yourself, okay? That's the only way you're gonna be able to help others, love others, help others believe in, uh, in themselves also. So for everybody out there, Self first, invest in yourself in order to help others. And that's what 2021 will be about, prime time. So to, he, I'll switch it in Spanish now. Eh, para todos los entrepreneurs que están allá afuera en el mundo, eh, en estos tiempos es el tiempo que de verdad lo que es, te va a cambiar la vida. Si tú eres una persona que quiere estar en negocios o quieres crear ideas, y quieres ayudar, todo el mundo allá afuera que lo necesita más. Estos son los tiempos que de verdad te va a enseñar quién tú eres, no solamente como un negociante el dinero, pero el dinero no te hace a ti. Hay mucha gente que yo conozco que tiene mucho dinero y no le importan de lo que es ayudar a las personas. Y sin embargo, entonces eso es lo que ellos están en froto. Eh, y no hay dinero que puede comprar una persona buena. So, para todo el mundo allá afuera que quiere tratar de crear un negocio, crear una idea, cuando escuchas la palabra no, cuando escuchas la palabra estás loco, eso nunca, o loca, eso nunca va a trabajar, eso es imposible. Deja que eso te dé inspiración para seguir para adelante, para, para que sigan para adelante. Y siempre acuérdate, para adelante, para arriba, no mires para atrás ni para impulso, pasos cortos, vista larga, que nada pasa rápido. Uno tiene que trabajarlo duro. Para todos los latinos allá afuera, siempre muchas gracias por, por todo el apoyo. Y en estos tiempos es cuando uno tiene que enseñarle al mundo por qué los latinos sin son los latinos, porque somos personas que entendemos la lucha, entendemos lo que es el sacrificio y entendemos lo que es la familia, unirnos y ayudar a todo el mundo. Son muchas gracias, que Dios los bendiga y que sigan para adelante. And I also said in Spanish to everybody out there, paso corto vista larga, I mean short steps, long vision, right? Short steps, long vision. Don't believe in instant gratification, what comes quickly is quicker. Make it a slow, but a for show. <laughs> Armando, thank you for uh, offering up some value for these people during this challenge. Everybody go to Pitbull's From Negative to Positive podcast. Make sure you download that. Make sure you're, you're a, a buyer of his music, not just a listener of his music. <laughs> support, support the artists out there doing the work. Thank you for what you do for charity. Thank you what, for what you're doing for the world and for schools and for education and everything else that people don't even really know about you. Thank you for doing all that. Hey, truly my pleasure, Eric. I appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate the platform. Look forward to seeing you in person and helping as many people as we possibly can. All right? You keep it See up. See you soon, my friend. Not kind of hard. All right? Stay blessed, my friend. Dale. <laughs>